Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Russia, and Spain. When we collaborate with suppliers in Denmark, we see this that there is a reluctancy to apply new standards unless they have to by law. So in many cases it's because of costs and uh, maybe also size in Denmark. Uh, I don't know. But uh, what we need is a strong governmental or political focus on pushing forward electronic procurement agenda. We want to comment why we have uh, five of them, not just one platform. Uh, in Russia we have one single website where you could see uh, all published uh, tenders, or all open information. The mandatory use of e-tools and field contract award I think is essential for the success we have today. I doubt, I seriously doubt if it was not mandatory if we are standing here today. I think we, it's very important we uh, advertise the solution we implemented in Portugal. Uh, we are recognized within Europe as a pioneer solution in terms of e public procurement. And I think although the model is not perfect, it is working and I think it's worth to show to the other countries what you have been done so far. I think it's very interesting to be here and to share experiences and uh, network. Uh, and I uh, like the case with uh, Russia a lot because it's uh, outside EU. What we want for the future is to have this international market um, that will give opportunities for any country, uh, doesn't matter whether it is Russia, uh, European countries, uh, China, maybe Australia, New Zealand or so on and so forth, uh, to give the opportunity for any country to trade and for our suppliers, for our customers, the opportunity to know something about uh, the market of other country. The public contracts procedures are carried out electronically in the, the electronic platform chosen by the contracting authority. Switching the, the qualified electronic signature only for the, the moments of the uh, signing of the contract and not necessarily tenders and documents included in such tenders. When I see the European Commission uh, um, talking about legal measures versus non-legal measures, I believe that this should not be one or the other. This should be the two combined. A client from Madeira with a procurement. It's a nice place also to visit. Yes, yes it is. Like Porto, you are going to like a lot of Porto. Uh, so a client from Madeira, we don't have delivery costs, no travel expenses, and we can download all tenders there is more transparency. We work with the contracting authorities and with suppliers. This is reality in Portugal. Eight platforms. Uh, not all the IT operators right now have this kind of, of services. Uh, only the creative ones. I think it's been very, very helpful to, to understand what the other countries are doing. Facet outsourcing is more uh, considering partnering creates more value by combining outsourcing, collaboration, innovation and measurement. So when you have a contract, we work together not um, to see what part is more is, is for you and what part is me, but let's create a bigger pie for each other. What, are, what were the gains and what were the things, what are the things to be improved? It's a general uh, um, a backup for the information. We do backup, we do, we do paper backup. And if you want to see some process, you have to go to the, to the, to the closet and check it all. If you have it on the platform, it's much more easy to, to do it. And it's electronic. It doesn't cost you anything on paper. Well, the difficult part is that you have to do, have it on paper and on electronics. Why? Because the, the, the first part, the supplier part, the buyer and supplier, you do it electronically. But when you go to the, uh, to the management part, you have to put it all on paper. So you have to print it all. And we have to define the weight of, uh, of uh, a procedure. And uh, we all have to evaluate a set of tenders. Uh, and my, our problem is to clean up an old hazard waste site. So if you have to, to choose from these uh, three criteria, the one that you look as the most important, uh, how, how would you choose? But uh, public administration has a goal that is not the single market. Single market is the uh, interest of the European Commission. 
uh, and this treasure is the best value for money. And this is something that not, not, not always uh, fit. fit. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Uh, but the goal is from the European Commission, but the plans are from the public administrations. And we have to try to understand them, both. Uh, we cannot, it's not black or white. Technology is only a tool. If you try to use technology for change everything, the rest of the elements make the contrary uh, strength. We are going to prepare an uh, innovation session with all the, the participants. We will divide uh, all the delegates by groups. Each group will present their conclusions regarding a challenge and we hope this way uh, we'll get more feedback and more networking between uh, participants.